Hey everybody, Skyler here, and in this video I want to go over my thoughts on the trillions of dollars being pumped into the economy out of nowhere, backed by nothing, given to everybody for free, um, and, and, uh, and yeah, but before I end up doing that, uh, I do want to just tell anybody, if this is your first video that you've seen of me, j just know that this video is geared towards brand new people to this space. So if you are brand new to this industry, uh, new to crypto, this place is a minefield to, to get through. Um, I'm here for you. If you have any questions down below about anything, you can write them in the comments down below. Uh, I also um, answer all um, any questions or help troubleshoot or deep dive projects or do whatever um, live every single Sunday. So if you want to um, talk to me live, I do that every single Sunday on YouTube um, and uh, at 11 a.m. Mountain Time United States I, I do that every Sunday so if you want to talk to me as well you can do that as well <clears throat> I really want to help people um, mine and, and share the red flags they need to be aware of and just be careful as they navigate through this space so if that's you liking and subscribing absolutely isn't a bad idea but um, before <clears throat> I talk about this trillions of dollars let me just play the video of the announcement of what I'm talking about and then you know we can kind of go from there so the total package here comes to roughly six trillion dollars, two trillion uh, direct assistance, roughly four trillion in Federal Reserve lending power. Again, it will be the largest Main Street financial package in the history of the United States. Liquidity and cash for families, small business, individuals, unemployed to keep this thing going. We're heading for a rough period, but it's only going to be weeks, we think. Weeks, months, not going to be years, that's for sure, and hopefully pave the way for continued economic recovery uh, after this uh, uh, crisis. So, so um, <clears throat> if you're unfamiliar with the way our system works of, of money, uh, we used to be backed by gold, meaning for every dollar that was out there, it was backed by an actual, by actual gold. And um, in 1971, we got off of that. We got off the gold standard. So since 1971, we've been on the fiat system. Um, that means that we can print money as much as we want. It's not really backed by anything. Um, you know, the dollar is what it's worth. It could crash. It can go way up. It just uh, the market decides the price, right? The um, the influence that country has, that fiat. You know, the the armies, the trade, the you know, um, that's really what backs fiat currencies now. So um, and <clears throat> um, Keynesian Keynesians. Um, I believe is what, what they're called. Uh, that's who runs our country now. Um, and th those economists believe that pumping money into the economy is what stimulates the economy and stimulates growth. Um, and if you look back in history, there's a law firm that hired a, a guy, or one of the people that worked for them, they told him to look back at all the currencies that ever existed. And as he went through, <coughs> he realized every single currency that he looked up um, had a had a fail rate at 100% successful 100% fail rate, and they ended up following the same path of failure. And so the longest fiat currency that's ever existed has been 300 and some odd years, um, and that's the British pound sterling. It's still around today, um, and the uh, the the average fiat currency lasts about 35 years. So, um, and, and we've been on our fiat system since 1971. Since the Fed was created, we have inflated our do dollar and lost over 98% of that dollar's value, which is that same path of failure that happens of inflating currencies. <clears throat> and with the $6 trillion, it's going to go down even more. So um, the dollar just be is worth less and less and less. Uh, now... The economists, the Keynesians would say, Keynesians, Keynesianites, uh, they, they would say, well, <clears throat> wages go up, your your work wages go up, uh, like, yeah, houses cost more and food costs more and everything, but your work wages go up and everything goes up, you know, together, but it's not that case. And if it was that case, then um, your grandparents wouldn't be able to pay off a house in five years, but you, it takes 20 or 30 years. Right. Um, if if that was true, um, you know, you your 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 grandparents could have survived off of one job, one forty hour a week job. Why is it that it takes us two, three, four, 
you know, jobs in a household to, you know, more. You have your, you have your, your um, full-time job and you have your part-time job and then you have your side hustle and, you know, all of a sudden, you know, multiple streams of income and, and every aspect of your life is, is revolving around making a little bit of money to survive and, and, um, and it didn't used to be that way. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. Now, there are some arguments saying that we're in the best economic times in our lifetime, even with this crash happening and stuff, But and, and the money being pumped in. They, they, there's still arguments to be made that we are still, you know, especially when it comes to, like, medical and, you know, food availability. And, you know, even though this stuff is happening and we are, you know, dependent on one another in the world, we're still able to have a decent supply chain as of right now. And... Um, I do think the worst of this whole virus situation is over when it comes to all that stuff. I mean, at least people are going less crazy where I live. There's things back on the shelves a little bit more, you know, each time I go, it seems like. Um, so uh, I just don't think that $6 trillion or more is... Um, adequate for they were talking about this four days into it so four days into this virus situation the day that trump went from you know went from hey this is going to pass it's no big deal and then the next day he said hey this is a this is a really big deal and um and i knew it before everybody else i was saying it before you know when he ended up flip-flopping on that um that topic that since that day, like four days into it, they were talking about a trillion. Then the next day it was two trillion. Then it was four trillion. Then now they're announcing six trillion. And it might end up going more over time depending on whatever happens. And now everyone's getting bailed out and 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 um and our money our 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 essentially when it comes down to it, our, our purchasing power decreases and and um, cool, we get a bunch of money, but now everything is a little bit more expensive over time. So your bills it, over time, you're, you're, you're end up, you end up losing every single time. So um, right now, um, we are following that same path of, of fail rate that 100% of the um, fiat currencies have followed down that, you know, down that path. So and, and we're hyperinflating it more and more and more and more. And so if you if you want to look at it, and, and you can tell in your lifetimes because you always have those conversations with your parents and your grandparents about what things cost and how things are so much more expensive now and all that sort of stuff. But you can see it even quicker in countries like Argentina and Venezuela and Turkey and Greece. A lot of these uh, countries that have hyperinflation take place. Uh, you can see it in a year. In one year, a cup of coffee at the beginning of the year will cost a buck. At the end of the year, it'll cost 480 bucks or something like that. It hyperinflates like crazy. And so it gets to the point where people have to carry wheelbarrows around just of money, like literal wheelbarrows. What do you do when, when it, it's so much cash that it's more than a backpack? You have to carry a tub of cash to buy your groceries. You, a wheelbarrow, that's the best option, right? I mean, you know, it's it's so much money, you can't even fit it in a backpack or a wagon. It literally was that much money to buy your groceries. Um, when that ends up taking place, then, uh, you know, so that's hyperinflation. So you can see what happens in a short, what happens with hyperinflation in a short period of time. Well, we're going through the same exact thing, except we're, ours isn't happening over a year. It's happening over 100 years or, or whatever the case. And I'm also not saying that the dollar is going to crash tomorrow. Um, but I am saying that um, the dollar is not real money. You know, real money would be something like gold, something like Bitcoin, right? Um, you know, something you can't just create out of nowhere and hyperinflate and... You know, there. Uh, I, I go over a video on that. I'm gonna go over next actually because this one's gonna take too long. But, but yeah. So, and 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 they are very, uh, and and they think that just printing tons of money is okay. They and they announce it. The people who are in charge. In fact, the 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 chairman of the of the Fed, <laughs> his name is Neil Cash Carey. I, I kid you not. That's so funny. Um, but let's let me just play a couple of videos of him. What he has to say in interviews. These are answers to some questions in interviews. But the answers talk. He, he kind of reveals how, um, how how like careless or whatever um, they are uh, about printing money or or whatever. So let's let's listen to what they say. Can you characterize everything that the Fed has done this past week as essentially flooding the system with money? Yes, exactly. And there's no end to your ability to do that. There is no end to our ability to do that. Is the Fed just going to print money? That's literally what Congress has 
told us to do. That's the authority that they've given us to print money and provide liquidity into the financial system. And that's how we do it. We, we create it electronically and th then we can also print it with the Treasury Department, print it so that you can get money out of your ATM. They're afraid of a bank run happening. I think this is the answer of this question. They're saying, are, are you afraid of people going to the bank and taking money out or should they be worried or something like that? You don't need to. Your ATM is safe. Your banks are safe. There's enough cash in the financial system and there is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. We will do whatever we need to do to make sure that there's enough cash in the banking system. You don't need to. <laughs> and here is Alan Greenspan, um, who used to be in charge of the Fed uh, um, a while back. This is what he had to say. So it just goes back in the history showing how they can just print money whenever they feel like. Are U.S. Treasury bonds still safe to invest in? Very much so. I think there's a this is not an issue of credit rating. The United States can pay any debt it has because we can always print money to do that. So there is zero probability of default. I love, uh, I love that guy's um, facial expressions. So yeah, they're totally willing just to print, 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 um, just loses your purchasing power, and my and I also don't understand what when we ended up started bailing people out. Um, all of a sudden, it's very common that we get bailed out. So I try to think back in recent history, a time that that was that was worse than this, and kind of compare it financially. All right, so what was the other time where? Um, a big chunk of the workforce wasn't working. Um, world trade was halted or not halted, but severely, you know, had had a lot of problems and wasn't working regular regularly. Um, and the United States ended up having to go massively in debt. Um, and uh, and the thing that comes to mind is World War Two, right? So in World War Two, 16 million people went off to to fight a war. Um, obviously, countries weren't trading with each other as you know normally. Um, we were all paying to fight this war. No co company got bailed out whatsoever. The um, the stock market didn't drop more than thirty percent, um, and we recovered quite healthily, <clears throat> and ended up having a, a you know a, a really good you know following ten years or so after the war ended. So. Um, I just think we're heading for a, a disaster when it comes to the, the worth of the dollar bill. I think the dollar bill eventually is no longer going to become a, a world currency. <clears throat> and maybe even all the countries are going to get together and get all their currencies and make a world currency that's uh, an equivalent to all the major currencies out there or something. I don't know. But... um. But yeah, um, and just to show in perspective how much money this is, uh, the first 200 years it took the United States to get $400 billion in debt. So it took 200 years for our country to get $400 billion in debt, and um, now we're, you know, uh, 50 years later or so, and we went from $400 billion in debt to a little under $30 trillion in debt, right? Um and uh, Jimmy's song makes a really good point as well. Uh, 1.6 years of tax revenues, that's how much money is being given away right now, enough to buy 68.9% of all the gold at World Spot right now. Obviously, once you start buying, the price will increase and it'll become more, but, but at the current price. Um, a down payment by all the real estate in the United States. The GDP of... <laughs> The United States in the, you know, 1990. I mean, like, this is crazy. You could buy all of the real estate in the United States with this money. And and we were down for, like, a, a, a not even a week before we started talking about trillions. And a week and a half into it, we annou they announced it. And they're, it just seems irresponsible. And there's, there seems to be better. I think there's better ways for sure. So, um, at any rate, 
I I think a lot of people are going to end up buying into gold. Um, I would like to think Bitcoin as well. Um, but who knows? What's I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Um, but we are, I believe, at a time in history where this is going to be noted as the nudge or the beginning. Um, uh, and and hey, this you know we we may be good for another hundred years, two hundred years, you know, three hundred years, just like the British pound sterling. But uh, we were hyperinflating more than than that currency. Um, did in its beginning phases so i don't think we're going for that long but we'll see what happens i don't know you tell me in the comments below having gold being worth all of the gold being mined at, in the world being worth about 7.5 trillion and us adding 6 trillion within a week or two of a bad situation just seems like a bad idea to me but maybe it's not you tell me what do you think am i wrong um or is this not as bad as i think it is uh write down in the comments below i'd love to hear from you and i guess i'll just end the video right there um and also i just want to end the video just reminding everybody i got a uh um live YouTube stream every single Sunday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time to do any Q&A, answer any questions, help anybody out if you're new to this space, um, chit chat, whatever you end up wanting. Um, and then also just know that um, every single like and subscribe absolutely goes a long ways because this channel does go straight to charity. I don't take a single penny. So um, I super appreciate everyone who has helped out and shared these videos with people and liked these videos and commented below and subscribed to the channel. Um, all that engagement really does uh, help me out a lot, and it means a lot. So appreciate everybody. And uh, um, next video, I am going to talk about what r what money is, um, what real money is. I'll kind of go over the um, the big ones, uh, fiat currencies, which the whole world pretty much runs off of now, and then uh, gold, which um, the whole world has been using for thousands of years. And I'll also talk about Bitcoin um, as well which is like the, the new digital gold, um, in a sense. So um, I'll go over the differences between them and what real money is um, in my perspective and kind of you know sh share with you the pros and cons of each one and you tell me what, what you think the best system is. So um, look out for that video. It should be pretty soon after this one and, and, uh, and I'll see some of you guys on Sunday. So um, appreciate everyone watching and I'll uh, see you in next time. Take care, bye. China, bing, bing, bong, Obamacare, bing, 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 bong, 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 get those lights off, bing, 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 China, bong, bong, bing, 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 bong, turn off.